Good afternoon, my Dolly friends. It is Gina. And sorry I haven't been on for a while, but maybe as you can tell by my voice, I have not been feeling well. And I just want to go over a couple of uh, little changes that I'm making to my Dolly nursery. But in front of you, you can see today my beautiful Sterling Alexander, he is the Elijah Sculpt. Um, he's a sold out limited edition and he was done by, uh, he was sculpted by Joanna Kazmierczak, I believe it's Pika. And um, he was brought to life by the wonderful Samantha Ewing, or Ewing, and I truly don't, <laughs> I truly don't remember the name of her nursery, but she is on Reborns.com. Um, I have him today in a pale blue, footless, sleep and play, little long sleeve, long pants romper. It has tiny little white giraffes on it with little gray spots. Um, Sterling is kind of my he prefers like the wild animals, the safari animals. He he kind of seems to gravitate more towards elephants and giraffes and leopards and lions and gorillas and things like that. So, um, yeah, he's holding his favorite lovey, which happens to be a leopard. Um, and uh, I used to do the doll of the month. But I, and I did really well for January and February, but I noticed in March and in April, I kept throwing other babies in with my doll of the month. So I kind of decided that maybe I won't do a doll of the month. Um, and I have my Cardinal blanket out here because I love the St. Louis Cardinals and so it's baseball season, guys, so my babies have to be on the Cardinals blanket. Um, at any rate, um, I just, I, I adore my little Sterling, and um, I'm thinking maybe I'll do sort of like Becca over at Becca's Happy Place. Maybe I'll just do a baby of the day. Maybe I'll do a baby of the week. I'm not sure. I haven't made my mind up. Um, but, yeah, right now, on May the 1st, I have my beautiful Sterling here with me. Um, I also want to touch on the subject of May the 4th be with you, which I think is a riot. Um, I really wanted to participate in that, but I didn't have any Grolo outfits or anything so I was gonna go dig in a box in my garage and see if I couldn't find some of my son's old Star Wars figurines but Saturday I decided to you know just do your normal your normal stuff I got up I was feeling pretty good and long story short by the end of the day I'm gonna say around 4 30 quarter to 5 I was feeling horrible I had a killer headache my head was all clogged up. I was achy all over in my joints, in my bones. Um, even when I brushed my hair back, my head hurt. Turned out I was running a fever. Um, and I went ahead and tested myself. And even though I am fully vaccinated and have been fully boosted, even before I went on my cruise and that, COVID got me. So I have had COVID since Saturday. Um, I tested COVID positive. I've been feeling very bad. Um, so that's why I have not been on, but I'm very thankful that mostly it stayed in my head. My body aches are lessening. I believe last night my fever broke. Um, yeah, my head is still kind of congested, but I can breathe. I don't feel anything down in my chest. Um, so I'm, I'm very blessed and I'm very thankful that this is not worse and that I will get through this. 
Now, whether or not I can actually return to work on Thursday remains to be seen because I have to be completely symptom-free, so I don't know. But at this point, I'm happy for that. Also, with May the 4th be with you, I know Josie from Josie's Jungle Room is participating. Um, I believe that Marna at Dolls Rescued and Dory's Dollies, I believe they actually, I believe Marna actually started May the 4th be with you. Now, I could be wrong. Perhaps they just liked it and joined in with Josie. I don't know. I'm not going to discredit anybody. I'm simply going to say I know that Marna came on on her Dolls Rescued channel and said we're doing May the 4th be with you again this year and it doesn't just have to be Star Wars. It doesn't just have to be the Grolu. It can be um, Star Trek, anything space if you decide that you want to join in. So, and Dory's Dollies uh, confirmed that. So, and then I know Josie has changed some of her babies already. Now, I was gonna run to the store and, and see if I couldn't find a little outfit, Grolu outfit or some kind of Star Wars thing and or go dig in my garage and look for my son's figurines. But beans, I discovered I had COVID. I'm not doing it and there's not enough time for me to order anything. I had been sleeping and just mostly sleeping and not doing really anything. So um, I didn't go. I, I won't be participating this year yet again, although I would like to. Um, and as you all know, I collect other dolls besides just Reborns and Realistic Dolls, and I have my childhood uh, Ideal and Mattel dolls and things like that. Um, I have my baby dolls and I have my rag dolls. So, there is one item I did forget to show you, and that is... This precious little rag doll that I picked up. Can you see her? Yeah, there she is. This is the precious little rag doll that I picked up in Puerto Rico. And I just love her. And I don't have a name for her, but I'm going to let Sterling hold her. Um, But I just fell in love with her, and she's going to be a part of my rag doll collection because I had to add another baby to that. So, and she's small, but I really love her. And maybe some of my toddlers will be allowed to play with her if they're very gentle. But we'll have to see about that. Um, yeah. So, guys, that's about it. Um, I just wanted to come on and say hello. I wanted you to know that I am doing okay. And, um, yeah, that, that's really about it. So, no matter what you're going through, always remember that... Um, God loves you and he's here for you even when we don't feel it. And like I said, I am incredibly thankful that this COVID that I have is relatively mild and uh, that it is passing that, because I think my fever broke last night. So I just need to get rid of the head congestion and I'm a little weak. I'm a little bit weak. I mean, I just unloaded the dishwasher, put dishes away and um went to fold a load of laundry and before i made this video and you may as well I, I may as well have tried to run 10 miles because i am so weak but that's okay i'm getting better like i said the fever broke it, it it's good it's good so just a few more days and i think i'll be in good shape so anyway guys god bless you have a wonderful day and I will be talking with you soon, I think. And, and I'm doing hashtag whatever I want Monday because that's what I'm doing today, which is brought to us by D over at the Baby Patch. I believe there's a couple of other Monday tags, but I'm going to blame it on uh, COVID fog. I can't think straight. I can't remember. At least I can use that as an excuse for a little bit instead of, gee, Gina, you're old. 
So, <laughs> anyway, guys, take care and God bless. Bye-bye.